My name is Adam Bean, and today I would like to extend the Quarkus CDK Lambda template with provision concurrency and deploy it to my account. So let's do this. Let's create a project, uh, or let's clone the template and call it uh, prof for provision concurrency, which opens the uh, two projects. One is the uh, micro profile application, Quarkus, and the other one is the CDK. So the CDK. Uh, ships with uh, a Lambda construct, which we'll need to extend. So how it works right now, there is a, just a builder, CDK builder, which creates the Lambda function here. And what we need to do is to create a version. So maybe it's a good idea to return a version here. And then instead of doing that, I will just store it in a variable. And now we have to create the version and this is the version from the Lambda package. So, oh, from the Lambda package. This is the version from the Lambda package. This one. And we need to create that. The first parameter is uh, this, and then call it provisioned concurrency. And then maybe description provisioned and then we need to pass the lambda which is in this case the function and i think oh of course we have to tell how many concurrent functions have to be kept warm or how many functions have to be kept warm just one means only one function is warm and under higher traffic the second one will still get a cold start um, so I would like to save it here, and I think it could already work. So let's format it a bit. So we have the. So we created a version with the description, which with the lambda, and um, with provi provision concurrency of one. Okay, so uh, let's deploy the application and see what happens. So I will use the script and this script just builds the micro profile app, um, creates the function on zip, then builds the CDK and deploys everything to my AWS account. Um, this can take one minute or two. So let's wait and see what happens. So the function is deployed and the deployment takes significantly longer than uh, without provision concurrency. So three times as long as usual and let's see what happens so i would just like to use the prepared curl command here so let's call it on maybe before we call it let's see what happened here so uh the function is available and let's um, take a look at the um, cloudwatch log and last event time is this one and we already see there are already some uh, outputs so let's take a look so it looks like uh, yeah it looks like Quarkus was already started by the provision concurrency so now let's invoke the function so it was a little bit longer and now uh, maybe this the first very first uh, Start is a little bit longer because you know also the HTTP API gateway has to be initialized and uh, let's see what what happened and we got subsequent calls. Um, we see the first one was 500 milliseconds still, and um, and then the others were yeah roughly 20 milliseconds, five milliseconds, and it's now it's going to be faster and faster. So um, thank you for watching. See you at upcoming conferences, projects, or um, AHEX Live workshops. So thank you and bye.